All right. When I discovered that my homemade crossbow bolts wouldn't fit in the magazine, I ordered field or target tip ones and broadhead tip ones. Interesting. Uh, both only gave me the option of ordering the minimum of 12. The target ones came in a package of 12, but the broadheads came in two packages of six. I was going to buy a bunch of stuff to put on the crossbow from uh, uh, Bass Pro, but the only thing that was reasonably priced that I could find was uh, green dot, red dot uh, sight. Comes with this uh, protector for the uh, lens. I found that last time when I shot it, that it was almost natural to use the right side for signing for me than the left side or top. So that's why I mounted it there. I also bought this dice shape uh, archery target with the hopes that the bolts won't rebound on me like it did on the oak. Since uh, I couldn't find anything else that I wanted from Bass Pro, I ordered. Uh, laser for this side and a flashlight for on top and I decided instead of keeping the uh, forearm grip I wanted to get a bipod to make this fully tactical over the top pistol crossbow bolt and I ordered all of that from uh, Amazon should come Monday give or take Probably be able to pick it up uh, Tuesday when dealing with uh, deliveries to the uh, post office box. It's usually not put in the post office box until much later. Let's see how this magazine. Theaters with a mixture of target and broad heads alternating between the two. It's a seven round magazine. Three, four. Is practically point blank.
it was a mess up on my part. You can also use right here for close range firing. And at point blank range, the way I've aimed was pretty good, which doesn't mean anything. But, yeah. Bolts don't bear too far with the uh, 120 pound uh, Adder Cobra repeating crossbow, uh, even 30 feet away, the bolt would bury, and occasionally I wouldn't be able to uh, get them out even with a pair of needle nose in some of the uh, Veins were damaged. But anyhow, that's it for now.